Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday. Coming at you with a dual case break of Hit Parade Baseball. This is Platinum Edition. Series 2, Random Team 2. A lot of nice stuff in here. All teams are in, no combos. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats to the people who got into, who won spots in those, uh, those two fillers. Big thanks to this group of teams right here. Appreciate it. Appreciate the teams. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, four. Two and a two for the hard way. After four times, we got Danny down to James. Two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, and four. We got the Houston Astros down to the Detroit Tigers. All right, Danny, you got the Astros, Nico with the Cardinals, Darren with the Yankees, David with the Brew Crew, Steve with the Rays, Brad with the Giants, David with the Reds, Danny with the Padres, Chris with the Guardians, Darren with the Royals, Matthew with the Blue Jays, Colin with the Angels, Steve with the Phillies, uh, Steve H with the Phillies, Last Ball Mojo, Steve B with the A's, Nicholas, you got the Cubs, Matthew with the Red Sox, Jimmy with the Pirates, Eugene with the Twins, Danny with the Marlins, Jimmy with the Orioles, David with the Mets, Jordan with the Nats, Jimmy with the Dodgers, David with the Diamondbacks, Cameron with the Mariners, Brad with the Rangers, Chris with the White Sox, Daniel with the Braves, Steve B with the Rocks, and James with the Detroit Tigers. Now the trade window is open, but with a product like this, only one hit per box, 20 hits, trade at your own risk. So we're going to open up the trade window. Uh, we're going to pause the video. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back. All right. So slight little mistake. We accidentally put Steve Birch's name in this break. Steve Birch didn't even buy a spot in this break. Steve Locke did, though. That's his spot right there. Boom. So that was, the randomizer was Rockies. And no trade. So TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip. Let's see what we got here. Two cases, all right? Series two, platinum edition. Let's see what we got in here. Good luck, everybody. All right, so here's the list hot off the presses. Thanks everyone for uh, joining me on Monday, March 27th. Are we at the end of the month already? Where did this month go? I feel like it flew by uh, pretty quickly. And away we go. Good luck, everybody. We got a graded card. Yeah, I did mention that we're gonna should expect some more graded cards than limited edition. Ooh, is this a sell sheet hit? I think it is. Yeah, this is on the sell sheet. It's Aaron Judge, rookie Aaron Judge autograph, one sixty seven out of one ninety nine. Woo! It's a good start from 2017 Topps Tribute Baseball, centering, edges, surface, all a 9.5. Corners are an 8.5 for a total of 9. And Judge's Auto is a 10. Nice. That goes to Darren and the Yankees. Won that spot in the filler, got randomized the Yankees. Got the rookie Aaron Judge. Hopefully, we'll see another big season from him. All right, next one. 
from Dynasty, Pedro Martinez, two out of ten. Phillies edition? Shuts down former team. Uh, Phillies edition going to Steve H. Last spot mojo strikes again. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Somebody in your fantasy league drafted Judge first overall. LOL. Wait, who's supposed to be drafted first overall? I only do auction leagues now. I don't do draft leagues, so I don't know what draft positions are anymore. From Flawless, we got Hunter Green. RPA, 20 out of 20. I think we have a Flawless break uh, sold out. So that should be coming up. That should be, we'll pop that on the schedule when I go through orders. That's going to be for the Reds, David D, and the Red Legs. Oh, is Trey Turner the consensus first overall pick? Where's Judge? I don't know. Drafts are for the birds, I think. The true, the true test for, for fantasy baseball managers is an auction league. So you, you can truly value your players with a, with a salary. There's O'Neill Cruz, rookie passion autograph from Spectra Baseball. Looks nice. 40 out of 49. That's going to be uh, for Jimmy and the Pirates. Yeah, I think NFL especially, you got to do an auction league because you can't just... You know, the margins are a lot slimmer in the NFL than it is in fantasy baseball. So someone could just luck into the number one overall pick, and then all of a sudden... There's Adley Rushman from Bowman's Best, 32 out of 99. Orioles. Jimmy with the O's. That's for the spot that he won. Orioles had a nice season last year. Winning record, I want to say. All right? They had, what, 83... 84 wins or something like that. Can they build upon that? Can Adley Rushman live up to his number one overall status? Yeah, the, the I'll have to admit, the, the fantasy baseball auction does to, we I'm in a 16 team league and we did our auction draft yesterday. Four hours maybe, four and a half hours. We've got a PSA 9. PSA 9, that's Dansby Swanson. From 2015, Bowman Chrome. Draft pick autograph. Diamondbacks edition, that's his Bowman first. That's for David D and the D-backs. Next. It is half a work day. Well, you got to put in work if you want to win fantasy baseball, Gilo, and have have a glory in running a fake team. Come on, Gilo. Also, it's not work if you're having fun. Don't can't think of it as a work day. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. Jersey and autograph from a Christmas set, twenty out of twenty-five from twenty twenty-two Topps Walmart Holiday Mega Baseball. Nice. That's for Daniel and the Braves. Braves, really scary team. They got a deep lineup. Got another graded card here. PSA 9 from Bowman's Best. It's Jordan Alvarez. No, that's from Topps Chrome Baseball. 86 out of 99. Future Stars autograph, Jordan Alvarez. Astros, that's for Danny. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. So 
So Gabe, and I guess this question for everybody too, but whoever's into fantasy baseball, what are some of your, uh, you have any sleeper picks you want to share? Some players you picked up that you're going to hope have a great season? Any breakout candidates? Any bounce back candidates? Comeback stories? Any fades on popular players? We got a 9-10, Beckett 9-10. And it is Miguel Cabrera, Lone Star Signatures. It's from 2022 Stadium Club, centering, corner, surface, and nine, or check that. Centering and corners are a nine five, surface is an eight five, edges are a nine, autograph is a 10. 13 out of 25, Detroit, that's for James. Won that spot in the filler, gets the Miggy. Danny's thinking Riley Green, a Tiger. Breakout candidate for him. I've identified, uh, I'm identifying Spencer Torkelson as a bounce back candidate. Sort of had a rough uh, rookie season, but you know, sometimes that happens. Not everyone comes out fast out of the gates. And he's got, he's got some great, he's got some great talent. And he showed it at every level, so. Here's the wizard from Diamond Icons Baseball, three out of 10. Cardinals, that's gonna be for Nico and the Redbirds. Nice. Case one in the books. But wait, there's more. It's a dual case break, ladies and gentlemen. Juan may get more some time to shine. Yeah, I think he's pretty solid. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping Max as a as a Dodger fan and as someone who is chasing Max Muncy in my auction draft. Um, it's just out of my out of my budget. Hoping big things for him. I mean, let's see. Now that I'm thinking about Max Muncy here. What does Fangraphs have his projections at? So they got him at about 25 home runs, 77 RBIs around there. Maybe a 235 batting average. That's pretty good. If we can get a little bit closer to his 2021 season where he hit about 250, 36 home runs, 90, 94 RBIs, you kind of want him to get at least 30 home runs, I think is the hope. He's healthy, that's the key. Last year I don't think he was operating in a, in a healthy healthy way. 16 teams in my league. 16 team keeper and auction. Here is Alex Rodriguez for the Yankees. Special sketch card from Hit Parade by this artist right here. Very nice. Yankees, that's going to be for Darren. Darren. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That's not the only hit though. There's two in here. And it's Clayton Kershaw, superstar autograph from three and two baseball. Eight out of 15. Had a really sharp uh, start last night against the Angels. Dodgers won three nothing. The game, two hours and eight minutes. Can you believe that? I mean, he was cruising, so he was dealing. And it was a low scoring game. And with the pitch counter, pitch clock, and everything, two hours and eight minutes. I think, I think, uh, I think that's. I don't know. What does everyone think about the speed of these games? Ooh, Danny's hoping Giolito bounce. But yeah, it's a lot of team, Steve, and a lot of sharp baseball people in there, and keepers, and auction. So it gets pretty tough and competitive. All right, next one is another Jordan Alvarez, 20 out of 50 from Topps Chrome Black. 2022 Topps Chrome Black. That was uh, another one for Danny. There was one in the previous case, now one in this case. I was listening to uh, some Dodgers post-game radio in the car last night. 
And um, I think the general consensus was that everybody liked the short, especially in LA. You know, and I think a lot of people are like, hey, it's great having these short games. I can drive in from the suburbs, come into LA, watch a game, and not, I'm not leaving like at midnight. There's Mariano Rivera, nice, 24 out of 25. He would be a keynote speaker at Jaspi's autograph camp if we had one. That goes to Darren and the Yankees from Immaculate Baseball, nice. Gilo says being at the game, the short game was kind of nice. It was only two hours in spring training. I think the only people that won't like it are concessions. I think uh, at Dodger Stadium, some of the fans were like, listen, the pace of the game was nice, but I couldn't. You know, like some people were like, half the game was over by the time I got my hot dog and beer. So concessions, people might not like it. But I think, I think that's going to, in the future, pave the way for more like online or uh, mobile ordering. And people will bring it right to your seat. I think that could, that's going to be the next big adjustment I think that's going to happen with stadiums in the next few years or so, which I think would be a good thing. You don't have to leave your seat. You can watch the game the entire time. Someone brings you food. Here's Bobby Wood Jr. 8 out of 10. Dual relic and on-card autograph from Flawless. Real nice stuff here. From 2021 Flawless Baseball. Royals, Darren McKenzie with the spot that he won. Got, he had the Yankees with the spot he won in a filler and the Royals with the spot he won in a different filler, back to back. He's heating up. Oh, is that another sell sheet? Generally, there's one sell sheet hit per, yeah, it's on sell sheet. Generally, one hit per case will be featured on the sell sheet. Generally speaking. I think if you go to the Hit Parade site, I think we only steal one picture from them from the Hit Parade site. There's one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. There might be a second photo that we're not using for our item description, but. All right, ooh, got a gold frame. And it is four out of 15 Cal Ripken Jr. All right, that's from 2020. That's for Jimmy and the O's for the spot that he won. Next box. Right, correct. My fantasy, my fantasy draft could now, <laughs> I could fit two baseball games in my fan, fantasy draft. Although two hours, I think is, is, is I think on the shorter side. You know. I think if it's, I think most games will probably settle. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the average times are, but we got Paul Goldschmidt, ten ten, pristine Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks edition from twenty fifteen, tops high tech, title refractor, tens all around except for the surface is a nine five. His autograph is a ten, and that's numbered eighty one out of ninety nine. Nice, David D with the D-backs. Probably should have knocked out, there's at least a couple seasons that he's had as a Diamondback where he should have knocked out an MVP or two. But there's your reigning NL MVP. All right, another one, good luck. I think average games last year were over three hours, I want to say. Well over three hours. 3.30 maybe? 3.40? Which is crazy. It was just kind of crazy if you think about it. But now the average game might be shaved by an hour and a half, maybe even two. 21 out of 25, there's a Rocky. Larry Walker. Nice patch, nice on-card autograph from Diamond Icons Baseball. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Steve Lock. Three more to go. Who's gonna be the Orioles of this season? In 2021, the Orioles 
In 2021, I want regular season here. The Orioles only won 52 games in 2021. In 2022, they turned that into 83 games. 83 wins, that is. Who's going to be the Orioles of this season? Detroit, Kansas City, they won 66, 65 games. Oakland won 60 games. The Nationals only won 55 games. Cincinnati, Pi Pirates, Pittsburgh only won 62 games. Who's the Orioles? Is there going to be an Orioles of this season? Next up is Juan Soto. I don't know. This is Nationals this year. They've, they've, because of the trade, they've got a lot of youngsters there. That they could be that team. 60 out of 99, Juan Soto Nationals edition from 2020 NT Baseball. It'll be for Jordan. Cam's thinking the Rangers will be the O's of last season. Yeah, the Rangers only won 68 games last year. They got to be, right? With that roster? I think anything less than that, I think, would be a disappointment considering how much money they spent over the last two seasons. Royals, maybe. Yeah, see some of the youngsters break out. Got a decent coaching staff. They could, they could, they could maybe get to 500, maybe a little bit more this season. Another graded card. We got PSA. Upside down, we got PSA 9, and it's Joey Votto. 2 out of 10 from Dynasty. Nice patch, nice bold black autograph right there. Pretty cool. This is from a, an old set as well. This is from 2015 Top Dynasty. Steve's thinking Royals or Tigers. This is the AL Central after all. Yeah, the Tigers also have like a crop of youngsters that are on that team that could maybe, maybe surprise. I do have Torkelson on my fantasy team, so I'm hoping he kind of that he does well. We're gonna end with a gold frame, and it's gonna be Pete Alonso, two out of twenty. Mets, I'm sure we're expecting a big season this year from everybody, but losing losing the closer. That's a tough blow, but let's see how they adjust. Mets, that's going to be for David D. and the Metropolitans. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com on a Monday. I'll see you uh, next time for the next one. Bye-bye.